My name is Brian Chapin, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Urology at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, and the current PI of the SWOG 1802 randomized phase three trial of systemic therapy versus systemic therapy plus radiation or surgery to the primary tumor in metastatic prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is the most common cancer for men in the United States. It develops in the prostate gland, and when it remains in the prostate, it is often treated successfully with radiation or surgical removal. However, when the cancer cells leave the prostate and travel to lymph nodes, bone, or other sites, it is considered metastatic. Metastatic prostate cancer is treatable, but with current therapies, it is not curable. Once the cancer spreads from the prostate, it requires drug-based treatments. The standard of care for any medical treatment is determined by national guidelines. For metastatic prostate cancer, there are several treatment options. These all involve hormone deprivation therapy, otherwise known as ADT. ADT was the only therapy given to metastatic prostate cancer patients for decades. In recent years, newer drug therapies have been developed which help patients live longer. Doctors choose either ADT with or without one of these newer therapies for their patients based on many factors. These include cancer characteristics, such as where the cancer cells have spread, as well as patient characteristics, such as whether a person has other existing health conditions. The goal of this clinical study is to find out if men with metastatic prostate cancer who are taking ADT with or without newer drug-based treatments according to standard guidelines will live longer if radiation or surgery is added to their treatment. Doctors who enroll patients on the trial will measure the impact of these treatments on quality of life risks of local symptoms, and risk of cancer spread. They will collect data, blood, urine, and prostate samples to learn more about prostate cancer biology, which will ultimately improve our understanding of prostate cancer and advance the care of men with metastatic disease. Men receiving the standard drug therapies for up to 28 weeks after their diagnosis of metastatic prostate cancer are eligible to join the study. Those who enroll will be registered by a study nurse or coordinator. They will be randomly selected to one of two treatment groups. Patients in group one will continue with their standard therapy, and patients in group two will continue with their standard therapy and have surgical removal or radiation to their prostate. Assignment to these groups will be generated by a computer without doctor or patient input. Patients should expect to have some additional blood drawn along with their standard blood tests. Scientists will use any extra tissue samples to further evaluate prostate cancer biology. Patients randomly selected to be in group two will have surgery or radiation within eight weeks of the time they are assigned to group two. They will be followed every three months or until the cancer gets worse or progresses. Patients whose cancer progresses come off the study and continue to receive the standard drugs. They may also join another clinical trial if they and their doctor feel it could be helpful. If patients experience prostate symptoms, they can have treatments to reduce these symptoms. A research coordinator will monitor patients every six months to track how they are doing with their treatments. All men in the study will receive a standard drug treatment. A computer randomly assigns each patient to group one or two, with 50% of men getting standard drug therapy and 50% of men getting standard drug therapy plus surgery or radiation to the prostate. We cannot place patients into a specific group. Patients and their doctors will decide whether radiation or surgery will be the treatment of choice when patients are selected for group two. This planned decision will be recorded before the random computer selection. When patients are selected to group two and will have local prostate treatment, the pre-selected option will take place within eight weeks. Joining the trial will have no impact on later treatment options. If the cancer spreads, patients come off the study and can receive any standard treatment going forward, including enrollment in other clinical studies. Prostate cancer can respond differently to different treatments, and this is an important focus of research. The researchers running the trial want to see which treatments work best and learn more about how prostate cancer develops and spreads. This knowledge will improve cancer care and may improve or extend the lives of patients.